Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to take you through an edit using the Picture Perfect Portrait Mega Set, and this is available for Photoshop Elements and Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you this being done in Elements. The action I'm going to focus on in this tutorial is called Perfect Portrait. It is an all-in-one retouching action, and I'm going to run it while I talk about it. Like the message here says, it runs about 13 or more actions at once, and it leaves you at the end to pick and choose which layers you want to apply to your image instead of running a whole bunch of actions to do little things. You get it all done at once, and then you just pick what you want at the end. Okay, and now we're just going to pick the layers we want to use. Uh, the red layers um, are visible, all the effects is visi are visible when you click the eyeball. And these layers here, the blue ones, you'll see the layer mask here, which is this little box, is black, which means that you need to paint on those layers with white to make them show up where you want them. Those are your skin smoothing, your teeth, and your eye uh, details. And so those are obviously you don't want your entire image affected by the eye color pop. You want to be able to tell it exactly where you want those layers. And so those ones you will need to get your brush and it's already selected for you at the end of the action. You have your, your white brush selected. It does that for you. And it's skin smoothing is selected and it's zoomed in so we can just start working. And with your brush you can change the sizes of it with the bracket keys. Left goes down, right goes up and start painting on that. You want to make sure you have this little black box selected, which is your layer mask, and just start painting. I have my opacity down for this because when I do skin smoothing, I want it to be natural and build up gradually. And so just brush over the smooth areas of the skin. Do, do not paint over any details. I even stay away from these little crevices and stuff and want to keep it very natural. And really, kids don't need she doesn't need anything at all, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you how these all work. Um, just keep it light and natural and take a step back and ask yourself if it, if it is looking natural. And so just paint on like that and build, build it up gradually. I brought my opacity down to 60%. You can bring it down more if you'd like. And, and it's like painting on a canvas. The more strokes you make over the same area, the more paint builds up. This is the same with the effect of a layer mask if you drop the opacity down. If we had the brush at 100% and started painting, you're going to get the full effect of a layer with the first brush stroke, and it can be a little bit more unnatural that way. So, And then underneath here, we've got all of these layers here, and most of them are turned off and leave you the option of whether you want them on or not. We've got the Make It Crisp layer, which is going to bring out the details of the image. And up here, we've got these blue colored layers are your layers that you'll need, like the skin smoothing to paint on. Uh, eye detail and sharpen is good for um, lashes and iris to sharpen them up just a little bit. And uh, maybe lips, maybe hair, whatever you want to add a little bit of sharpness and detail to. We've got the eye color pop light and eye color pop dark. And um, you can use that to paint over just the catch lights of the eyes to bring those out just a little bit more. Or lightly over the iris. I wouldn't do too much on the iris because it can leave you with alien eyes, which we want to avoid. And then we have the eye uh, darken the pupil on the lash line layer. And this targets the shadows in the image, so you can't mess it up too much if you paint on the skin on accident. But um, do zoom in when you're working on the eyes and make your brush size small. Oops, I am on the wrong layer. Darken the pupil on the lash line. And then paint on very gently there. And this is obviously best on women. Men don't want to look like they have eyeliner on. So, Okay, so um, you can see, I'll just turn this way up so you can see the effects of that. Whoa, okay. And then down below here, we have the red layers are the ones that you can just turn on to make the effects visible. And yeah, cool down, warmth, make it darker, make it lighter, and a soft pop for more drama and contrast. Nice little pop of color and contrast there. And then the bottom layer is your adjust all. So if you want to select this layer, you can turn it on and off to see the overall effects of all the layers working together. Or you can adjust the opacity down if you want to take all the edits you did and all the layers down in opacity and make it more subtle as well. And so that is the perfect portrait 
action from the Picture Perfect Portrait Mega Set. This set was just newly updated and added to a lot of revisions and a lot of new additions, some really fun ones, some really big time savers in there. And anybody who has purchased this action set already will be receiving, if you haven't already, an update in your email box that you used for your purchase with the free updates in there. And I thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.